So. Well, that brings up a good question, Corey. What's like everyone's biggest fear? Blah, blah, blah. Doom, doom, doom. Scary music. Lights start to flicker. <laughs> choo, choo. Yes. That's yeah. the sound oh, of lightning. Lightning right, right? strikes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Biggest fear, like. Like what situation do you picture yourself in that would creep you out? In like the world of horror movies, not something like yeah, getting on okay. a plane. That's so probably because of like I'm, it already makes me nervous. I mean, I want to explore it, so like doesn't really like just paranormal. That, that's mm. honestly that's honestly what it would be. So and the reason that like so actually I watched like yesterday I watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Paranormal Activity three. The only reason I watched three is because it was the only one that was on on whatever streaming service I was on. I forget which one it was. So I just watched that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that right there would freak me out, like because that's truly. I mean, don't get me wrong. If Jason or Michael Myers, like something like that, is actually going to come, like, kill me, you really can't necessarily always defend yourself. But you can't. There's a certain sort of certain degree. Paranormal activity is something I just feel like you can't control. Like, there's nothing. If it's true and there's a demon coming after you, that freaks me out. Yeah. So, so. do you think like if you were to do like a like an overnight ghost hunt and actually spend a night in the dark, do you think you'd? Uh think he gets spooked out oh probably oh yeah i mean <laughs> honestly because it's funny because you were talking about that the other the, 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 the couple of uh, it was another podcast we were talking about mm-hmm. that that you guys have done that and you know what mm-hmm. i mean you and jessica have done that quite a bit and 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 y- you started feeling towards the very end that you weren't getting as scared you weren't getting you know what i mean there's like you felt like there's always a rhyme and reason for these noises mm-hmm. and these things like that and i may have come to that result afterwards but during I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not, it's not happening. I'm going to be freaked out. I'm going to be a little bit nervous, you know, it's happening. I'm going to, it's going to suck. So, um, but I would honestly, but I would love to do it though, because, and maybe that might help me get over my fear of it. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I would say, so. uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily say I had like a fear of the dark. I mean, I think everybody has like, I mean, you, when limited vision can freak anyone out, I, th- I yeah, think that, that's sure. just a natural thing. Uh, but when we really started doing these ghost hunts, you get really comfortable in the dark. You get like mm-hmm. really comfortable with going into these spaces where, uh, what, in the insane asylum where they had like mm-hmm. those crazy shower stalls where these people, these insane people, were were kept in a stall butt naked for 24 hours a day because if they were given anything, they'd like kill themselves or be violent mm-hmm. with. I mean. So, like, you kind of, like, get used to the creepy, and you, you just welcome it, you know what I mean? You want something to make your spine tingle, you know what I mean? You want something to mm, uh, knock something over, yeah. or, or, you know what I mean? It, it it becomes a thrill. It's it's just yeah. like riding a roller coaster. It's it's, it's like a, you got to be a thrill seeker. Mm-hmm. I have to admit, too, I think I'm more of the type who enjoys, like, the you're with a group. I don't think that I could go alone and do a ghost hunt. I think that would creep me out. But if I'm with people, it's a different experience. Because yeah. I feel like uh, if you experience it with a group, at least you have someone else to, like, share your experience with. Mm-hmm. So I think alone I would get in my own head and be like, yeah, nope, absolutely. I'm out. <laughs> And I think you can always feel comfortable while blaming somebody else in certain <laughs> yeah. circumstances like that, you know? Right. I mean, it's like, Kevin, quit moving, you know? I mean, like, you know, like, that was, that was Kevin. He breathed weird, you know? <laughs> right. You know, it could be something, anything like that. breathing on my neck. You know? I'm over here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how my, I feel uh, with the cats. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. It was a cat. <laughs> I, I remember uh, the first ghost hunt I did was uh, Mansfield Reformatory, and we spent the, the night there, and... Uh, you'd take frequent breaks. I'd have to charge my equipment because, you know, it was, it was old back then. So uh, mm-hmm. everything was wired and, and, and had to be powered. So I had to charge everything. So you'd, you'd kind of go back to the, the one station where you'd, like, kind of recoup. And I remember, like, we were heading back. And I was like, you know, I, I'm not ready. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go out by myself. So I made it, like, a certain amount of feet i'm not saying i went super far but i started like walking around and just like the, the quietness of being mm-hmm. alone is definitely like all right I'll, i'm gonna turn back I'll, I'll go back and hang out for a minute um but what you know i would i would use the video camera and at that 
at this time, um, it was my brother, my sister, and uh, somebody else that, that came with us to do the Mansfield Reformatory. And I, I remember everybody was walking in front of me, and I wound up being the last uh, uh, person walking. So, you know, behind me is nobody. So, like, you start getting that feeling because the darkness <laughs> is on your back. You're like, I hope no freaking spirit is following me, man. I'm going to be the first right, one out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where'd Kevin go? 